What's going on y'all? We are out here today using the Sea-Doo Explore Pro 230 and we're going to be doing a little bit of freestyling around Dolphin Island today. Getting a little bit of a late start, not really sure what to expect. We're just going to kind of run around, we're going to look, there's a tarpon jumping in the area, there's jacks, there's bull reds, there's Spanish mackerel, it's all out there. So we're just going to run around, see what we can see and hopefully we'll catch some today. Y'all stay tuned, see if we can make it happen. We got our kill switch on. Go ahead and power up the fish finder. Let's make our way out the pass here. So we just made a little bit of a run, maybe about a mile and a half, two miles off the beach. We got the Dolphin Island Lighthouse right here and there's kind of a sandbar that runs along it. And there's typically a lot of speckled trout and Spanish mackerel out here. So go ahead and disconnect our kill switch so we can reach behind us. I am going to start off throwing this guy right here. So this is the tarpon bug from Bugs Fishing. Uh, Heath Hippo sent me a couple of these. Got a little bit wet now, but just like all the Bugs lures, when it goes in the water, I mean, that just looks absolutely perfect right there. Really, really light, flutters along, and that water really picks that hair up and causes a nice profile. So we're gonna throw that for a little bit, see if we can hook up on it. All right, so there wasn't anything back there on a the sandbar, nothing that I saw anyways. And I pull up on this rig, I got birds diving down everywhere and there's some big explosions happening right on top of that rig. Not sure what that is, but we're about to get in there and find out. It definitely smells fishy right now. Oh, oh dude, we got bit, there he is. Look at them, they're on it. Come on, eat it, eat it. There he goes. Oh, dude. Oh, they're Spanish. Big school of Spanish. Gotta check that leader. Think we're good. We're running some heavy line. Big school of Spanish right there. Come on, gotta get the hook in your mouth. They took it. They took it. Oh, there went the bugs jig. Oh, golly. Even after checking my leader, it just wasn't enough. Massive, massive schools. That's all right, we're gonna get hooked up. I'll try popping a top water in there. Uh, as many fish as there are right there, I'm probably gonna lose. Oh, he's on it. Come on, get off there, bird. Got him, there he goes. First cast with the top water. It's just a better, presentation to keep them from eating my leader i believe and we are hooked up on our first fish of the morning mm, come on feeling like it's going to be a spanish yeah that's a nice one too all right now the other tricky part is to not get a hook in us here come on chill out don't sling any hooks in me All right, well these guys right here, this is a Spanish mackerel, much like a king mackerel, but you see they got these yellow dots, but that's not the only way to tell that it's a Spanish mackerel. It just has a subtle lateral line that comes down here where the kings will drop off, have a drastic drop off. So that right there is a Spanish mackerel, beautiful eating size. And these guys also have some gnarly, gnarly teeth they will get you, but they're delicious. We're gonna be throwing them in the box. All right, let's ease back in here. See if we can get bit again. Uh, get a good rip in there. Beautiful cast all the way up on that rig. Couple pops, the birds are coming for it. That's the only problem. We don't, mm, golly, that was a massive explosion. Come on, come on, you can get it. There he goes, is he on? I can't, oh, dude, come on, eat it. They are all over it. He'll come up and wipe it. Come on, there, I'm just missing, there we go. Golly, that is crazy, crazy, insane. How many fish did we miss? I mean, they're just attacking it. Woo, 
got our second one though. <laughs> this is this is gonna shape out to be an amazing spot right here. I think we could probably just feel the cooler right there, and that's another really, really nice one. There we go. <laughs> All right. Well, there's Spanish number two right there. Every single cast so far, which we've only thrown two casts, but they're firing off on that top water. This much bait and Spanish and stuff around, there's gotta be, gotta be some king mackerel and cobia in the area. Come on, he's on it. No. Just let it sit there for a minute. He'll come up and get it. There he is. Whew. Look at him. That's a king. That's a king mackerel just followed it. Big king. I do have some wire and I got some trolling lures. We might be pulling them out. The thing about these fish is they hit with so much speed. There's not a lot of accuracy in there. And the way their mouths are just shaped, they miss a bunch of them. There he is. There he is. Got him. We got us another sea dude pulled up. Come here. Whew. Not sure who that is. We're gonna go over there and talk to him in just a second. There he is, another, another Spanish mackerel. We knew it. Was not fighting too big. All right, Spanish number three right there. So much fun. Right there is why it's important to check your leader after every cast, because he's got that frayed up. We got 40 pound on there. I'm gonna go ahead and snip it a little bit closer and retie. What's up, man? What you uh what you using for bait? I just got some uh, finger mud I'm throwing out there. I got you. You hooking up on anything? No, I just got I got a bite in there. That's about it. Do you care to catch Spanish mackerel? Yeah, I got some know. lures down here I can show. I mean they're every single cast, dude. Just, I'm gonna throw it right there by your where your foot's at. Okay. There you go. That should definitely oh, okay. give me one hell yeah. yeah, hell yeah. Guaranteed first cast. <laughs> Crazy. I was actually, I was gonna run by the rig and just look at it, but mm, golly, I just got nailed. Whoo. Anyways, <laughs> oh, my fish on. Like I was saying, I was heading into the beach to look for bull reds and tarpon and stuff. There, that's a big one. Big one. He ran a little bit of drag on me. That might be a king. That might be a king. Either that or I got him foul hooked. I don't know. That one definitely had some spunk. Come on up. It's going to be a good one. Yeah. Chunky guy. Woohoo. We did have him foul hooked a little bit, but he was fighting hard so much fun come out here like this is what you do with your kids right here you want to get your kids on some fish non-stop action right now late summer find any kind of structure offshore and you're bound to find these guys around them somewhere so this lure that i'm throwing is a nomad uh, i believe an orca popper it's just absolutely been chewed up. I love this for targeting jacks or any, anything kind of big off the beaches, anything that's feeding up. This is an amazing lure for that. And like I said earlier, it's got 40 pound fluorocarbon leader, two 40 pound braid here. And the reel that I'm using is the Daiwa Pro Rex. I believe it's a 400 size to a St. Croix Mojo inshore. That's the setup that we're using. I do love this setup anytime I'm chasing around bull reds or something like that. This is my go-to setup. I will say I do not like this Daiwa Pro Rex. If I could go back with a Shimano Tranks, I would definitely do that. But I saw this one, decided to go for it, and it just hasn't held up that well to salt. 
got him. Did he come off? Golly. Come on. Got him. Got him. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good fish. Mm. Come on in. <laughs> Woo! So much fun. All right, yeah, that's a thick one there. That might be the fattest one of the morning. Fish in the box. He's back in there. I know there's a king or cobia sitting down there. I don't know if the Spanish are going to let this lure get past it. I know they're down there competing. I did see a king mackerel following underneath that school of, uh, of Spanish. So it would not be outside the realm of possibilities. There he is. And they're fighting over it. Oh, we lost it. There it went. Golly. Oh, I see it. I see it. <laughs> There's my top water right there. They chewed through my leader. Let's go get our top water lure back. All right, so we lost that lure. It might float back up here in a minute. I'm not sure. But we do have a cobia jig on now. We're going to try to get past the Spanish and see if we can get anything else hanging out down around the bottom of this rig. He just hooked up, hooked up on something good. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is that the king, right? That's him, man. <laughs> Either that or one big Spanish. Dude, come on, let's go. It's all about, brother. Me on, on Facebook and go fishing yeah. I know a lot of people that's got jet skis. Right on, man. Well, I don't, I don't know if you already follow me or anything like that, but I'm Southern Salt on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. Oh, really? Yeah. So you can find me on all those platforms. But yeah, I, I run out at least once a week on the ski. Yeah. I do a, a lot of other stuff too, but. Hey, yeah, my name's Walter. How okay. the Dixie bar. I just got a little twitch bait, your Zuri twitch bait, and we're gonna give it a couple pops. See if there's anything hanging around this point right here. Feel like I saw a couple of schools of jacks as I was running, but as you can see, I mean it's just real windy right there. Alright, well we have ran everywhere looking for more fish. We got on that awesome school right there couldn't really find any more fish around the wind picked up like crazy but i gotta say that my biggest point of the day was giving that guy a lure and then him catching a king i would rather that happen than me catch it any day right it's just awesome he was out there throwing free lining some mullet which is a really really good tactic but the fish that were there were really keying in on things that were moving fast and had a lot of flash to it right and then a dead mullet typically won't do that um the snapper and other things a lot of mangrove snapper around that rig uh those will come up and eat those uh those finger mullet but to catch that king mackerel like that he threw that x wrap out there that was awesome absolutely love that uh i got one other point i want to add to this video uh, if y'all are liking this content, this sea dew content right here, please hit that like button. Also, share this video and subscribe to the channel. I am trying to get to 75,000 subscribers this year, and in order to hit that, I need a miracle. I am way behind. I had a horrible month in August, and uh, but August is always a bad month. September is here. We got cold fronts coming. 
and we have a lot of really really cool trips planned uh if all goes well we're going 40 miles out on friday the weather has to play nice as of right now it's looking good so friday it's looking like we're gonna go 40 miles out and we're gonna target some giant fish on these jet skis so we got that plan i also have an out of country trip planned in october some of y'all already know about it but for the most part i'm trying to keep it a surprise we're going to a place that nobody in our area has ever gone to and filmed a video fishing and i'm going to catch fish uh that as far as i'm concerned uh not many people from our area have gone and catched so i am very very stoked about that also got some good kayaking trips some good inshore trips so if y'all like the content please hit that subscribe button we got a lot of very very cool stuff heading y'all's way but yeah that was pretty much it i hope y'all enjoyed it and uh we will see y'all next time